Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is game of life. Very easy problem. So in this problem, a board is given which is a M cross N grid where each cell has an initial state live represented by 1 or dead represented by 0. So each cell interact with its 8 neighbors. Okay. Uh, horizontal, vertical and diagonal using following 4 rules. So there are some rules. Uh, so what is given, right? A grid is given to us. So this is a grid which is given to us. And each cell, right? Here, 0, 1, 2, 3. And 0, 1, 2. So here each cell, let's say this cell, can interact with its all neighbors. So these all are the 8 neighbors. See, these all are the 8 neighbors. This one, this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 neighbors, this cell can interact with. So right now this cell has zero value which means it is dead and one means it's live, right? So what we need to do is uh, here some conditions are there. The next state is created by applying the following rules to every cell in the current state. So for to each cell, right, to each cell we have to apply these rules and we need to find out the next state. We need to find out the next state. Okay, we need to find out next state. So, what does that mean? Uh, see, this 0 can be converted to 1 or it can remain 0 only depending on some conditions and what those conditions are these. These conditions. Okay, so given the current state, this is the current grid which is given to us, we need to return the next state. That is, we need to return the next state and how we will determine the next state, we, uh, that will be determined on the basis of uh, these rules these rules so now let's see what these rules are see first rule is that any live cell with fewer than two live neighbors dies as if caused by underpopulation meaning so see if there is let's say there is there is this live see there is this uh, let's say there is this live cell right there is this live cell. So, how we will determine whether what will be the next state? What will be the next state for this? How we can determine it? We can determine it using its eight neighbors, right? Using its eight neighbors. And how we will determine it? We will check that how many live neighbors are there. How many live neighbors are there? If there are fewer than two live neighbors. So, if there are less than two live neighbors for this one, so then this one will change to zero. It will become dead. So it will die. This is first condition. Another condition that any live cell. So let's say we have this live cell one. We will see it's all eight neighbors. Okay, we will see all its eight neighbors. And if there are two or three live neighbors. So for this one, if there are two or three live neighbors. Right. So then this will, its next generation meaning it will remain one only. Next state will be one only. Okay. But any live cell with more than three neighbors, three live neighbors dies by overpopulation. So if there is one and all its eight neighbors, we will check if there are how many live neighbors. If there are more than three live neighbors, right, more than three live neighbors, then this one will this one will be die. It will become zero. Why? Because of overpopulation. So see, from these three cases, what three cases are? So see, what three cases are? First of all, if live neighbors, right? Here I'm talking about live neighbors. If we have a live cell, we have live cell. That is one. So if its live neighbors are less than two, then it will become dead that it, it will get changed to zero one will change to zero but if this one live cell has live neighbors two or three then it will remain one only but if this live cell has more than three live neighbors then by overpopulation this will change to zero it will become dead so these are the three, three conditions last condition is for dead cell that if there is dead cell with exactly three live neighbors it becomes a live cell that is see that means that here 
if there is a zero like uh, zero cell right zero dead cell and if it has three live neighbors three live neighbors then it will become live so dead will change to live for example zero is there we will check all its eight neighbors and if it's eight neighbors uh, in in all eight neighbors three are the live neighbors right then this zero will change to one okay so i hope you understood uh, this condition right let's quickly see this uh, test yes and here i have written it so let's quickly uh, see that how it's working so see basically we just need to check right every time these conditions that how these conditions are working but before that see over here what is the dependency see here for every cell we have to check whether the cell is live or dead accordingly we have to check for the condition right and condition depends on what condition depends on the live neighbors how many live neighbors are there so for every cell we have to check whether how many live neighbors are there if if live neighbors are less than 2 or if they are equal to 3 greater than 3 accordingly the live uh, the cell will change right so what we need to do is what we need to do for every cell right for every cell we need to find out how many live neighbors are there live neighbors how many live neighbors are there and how many neighbors are there eight neighbors right vertical horizontal and diagonal okay so this is the approach which we will be following that for every cell we will be finding out how many live neighbors are there and accordingly we will change it accordingly we will change it so see what we are doing over here let's see for this for this zero right for this zero so i am creating a matrix here basically we will be not creating a matrix we will be just changing in this matrix only but uh, for like explanation purposes i am like making a uh, this matrix so see first of all this zero is there right we are currently checking for 0 comma 0 cell this cell is dead right it's dead here it's zero so for zero what was the condition the condition was that if there is dead cell and it has exactly three live neighbors then it becomes a live cell so we need to check if there are exactly three live neighbors see here there will be this will be a neighbor this will be a neighbor and this will be a neighbor right these three will be neighbors but here we do not have only one live is there right one live these rest are zeros so these are dead only only one live neighbor is there but if we needed three so that this dead becomes live right so but here only there is one so this zero will remain zero only okay this will remain zero only right now let's check for this now we will check for 0 comma 1 now 0 comma 1 cell this one this is a live cell so live cell has uh, uh, what we will we will check all these neighbors this is one neighbor this is one neighbor no neighbors at the top this is one neighbor this is one neighbor and this is one neighbor in all eight directions right so this is right like this like if this is the cell this will be one neighbor one neighbor one neighbor one neighbor also diagonally also this is one neighbor this is one this is one this is one so total eight neighbors so here for this one this live cell we have how many uh, see there is only one live neighbor right this is only one live neighbor so what we decided that if there are fewer than two live neighbors that is if there are live neighbors less than two here only one live neighbor is there so this one will change to zero this will become dead it will die so this here zero will come here zero will come now see guys do you think we should write zero here because see we like i have for explanation purposes i have created this matrix but this zero we will replace here only here only we will replace it with zero right so see if i replace this one with zero here only see right now here the here there is one right right now here it's one but we have checked its neighbors and this one is live and now it will change to the next state it will change to dead so what i will do i will change this one to zero here i will not take extra space this is just for explanation purposes i will change it here only zero 
but I do think this is correct. Won't it affect this one? For this cell, it will affect, right? For this cell, it will affect its result. Because this 0, here earlier it was 1, right? Here. So for this 0, 1 was a live neighbor. But since we change this 1 to 0 now, for this zero, for this cell, this the calculation will change, right? So this is not the correct approach. We should not change it like this. We should not change it like this. What we should do is, we should replace it with some another number. Right? We should replace it with some another number. That is, if live cell is changing to a dead cell, right? I will replace the live cell by minus 1. I will replace it with minus 1. So here, in place of 1, I will write minus 1. Right? Now see, now I'll, I'll tell you what is the benefit of doing this. So see, minus 1 I have replaced it with, now I'll go to this cell. I, now I'll check for 0, 2 cell. This is a dead cell. So I will check its neighbors. How many neighbors are there? For this minus 1, right? I will check, check take the absolute value. So absolute value, it will be 1 only. Which it earlier also, it was a live cell, right? For this 0. So that's why I have replaced it with minus 1. I can replace it with 3 also, but like that. But there is no benefit of 3, right? Because I have to somehow know that, okay, earlier it was a live cell. So that's why I can take model, uh, absolute value. That is the uh, absolute of minus 1 will be 1 only. So then I will know that, okay, here earlier it was a live cell. So for this 0, see how many live cells will be there. This one, uh, these all are the neighbors, right? These three neighbors are there and there are only two live neighbors. So for 0 to change to live, it should have three neighbors, right? Three live neighbors. So this will remain 0 only. This will remain 0 only. Okay, so see we are making the next state. Now we will go to this cell. For this cell, let's see. So let me erase this. It's very easy question, right? Just we need to check the conditions every time. And for each cell, we need to find out how many live neighbors are there. So now we are checking for 1 comma 0. So this is this is a dead cell. Right? This is a dead cell. So it should have exactly 3 live neighbors in order to turn it to live cell. Right? It, this is a neighbor. This is a neighbor. This is a neighbor. This is a neighbor. And this is a neighbor. So here see. How many live cells are there? 1. Minus 1 will be taken. And we will take absolute only. Right? So absolute of minus 1 will be 1. Then 2. This is also live cell. And this is also live cell. So there are three three live cells. So for this dead cell, we got exactly three live neighbors, right? We got exactly three live neighbors. So this zero will now change to one. But right, this is for explanation purpose. Here we'll change this zero only to one. So I'll just remove this. And uh, here, this earlier it was zero, right? Here, now it will change to one. But do you think again, should we replace it? Because if I write 1 here, it will change calculation for this 0, right? So for this 0, zero it will take this as 1. But it should, this is the next state, right? We are talking here when we calculate, we are talking about current state. So here, here it should be 0 only for this 0. So what I will do, right? I will change it with another number. So I will take 2 here. I will replace when I am doing for a dead cell, right? When dead cell changes to live cell, I will replace it with 2. Here I was replacing with minus 1. When live was changing to dead, now zero, dead is changing to live, I will change it to 2. Right? So similarly, guys, you can calculate for all other cells. So this is how we are gonna, going to appro approach this problem, right? Let's see the code once. It will be more clear. And I will highly recommend just dry run the code once. Once you have uh, uh, watched the video. So see. This is the function which is given to us, right? Game of life. And we are given this board. M cross N board. These all are the vectors, right? This is the all eight directions. These are all eight, you can say, coordinates for neighbors. Now you might be thinking, what is this basically? See. 0, 1. Let's say you'll understand see this is very important concept it's used in graph also so understand it well so see if we have this right we have this we are we have to check all the eight neighbors so let's say this is the cell which we are currently on 0 comma 0 this is 0 comma 0 coordinate so this is let's say 1 this is 0 comma 1 
this will be 0 comma 1 right this will be what 0 comma this is x right and this is y 0 comma minus 1 here it will be what minus 1 comma 0 and here it will be coordinate 1 comma 0 now what will be this one here see what will be this so here is basically it's till this only right so here it will be 1 comma 1 here it will be what minus 1 comma 1 here it will be what this will be x minus 1 comma minus 1 and here it will be this one will be so this is like just your maths right simple basic maths we have to find all the neighboring coordinates so we have created like this so here it will be 1 comma minus 1 okay so these all the, these all x coordinates right 0 all the x coordinates these all the x coordinates right i have stored here in this and all the y coordinates these 1 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 minus all the y coordinates i stored here so this pa this pair is one neighbor 0 comma minus 1 is another neighbor 1 comma 1 is another neighbor like that so then what i am doing is i am going to each cell right i have just nested loop in order to traverse in the matrix i will for each cell right so see for each cell we will be finding out how many live cells are there so for each cell how many live cells are there so for that i will be calculating uh, see for we are calcul we have to calculate how many live neighbors are there so i am going to each neighbor and finding out the coordinate of that neighbor so row plus dx of i d, dy of i meaning let's say row and column current uh, let's say see current coordinate is let's say 1 comma 0 right we are checking for this one so current coordinate is this this is your 1 is row and 0 is your column i have to go to a, all the neighbors for this so what i will do first of all i will go to see i will go to this coordinate that is i will shift it row plus 0 comma 1 so it will be 1 this row 1 plus neighbor is 0 comma minus 1 right let's say so it will be 1 plus 0 this and this 0 plus this minus 1 okay so these will be the neighbor coordinates 1 comma minus 1 this will be the neighbor coordinates okay so in this way we find the neighbor coordinates and we check whether it's a valid neighbor valid neighbor what we uh, we are doing in this function we are just checking whether this coordinates lies in the range of the board or not right whether they lies in the range of board or not and uh, also if the absolute value is 1 then meaning it's a live neighbor so just increment it the count then we are checking the conditions right so if the current cell is live and it's and the live neighbors are less than 2 or greater than 3 so then this live cell will change to dead cell so what we do is we change it we replace it with minus 1 right we replace it with minus 1 otherwise if it is a dead cell and it has exactly 3 live neighbors we change it to 2 and after that once we are done with this for loop wherever it's greater than equal to 1 right we change it to 1 when, like for example where it is 2 right so it's greater than 1 so we'll change it to 1 because it's a live uh, cell and then wherever it is minus 1 we will obviously change it to dead 0 right so this was the approach right i hope you understood the approach and uh, time complexity see time complexity is m cross n we are traversing uh, and this 8 this for loop is constant because the 8 only is there so time complexity will be m cross n and space see space we are not using any extra space these are just constant spaces and uh, yeah we are not using any extra space here so it will be o of 1 so let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. If you found the video helpful, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.